Investigations continue for some of the seven states listed as part of the scheme to create fraudulent slates of electors across the country. Arizona's attorney general came forward earlier this week. Our political reporter Darielle Fair has you covered on the status of the investigation. On Wednesday, Democratic Attorney General Chris Mays confirmed her office is investigating whether fake electors attempted to falsely claim Trump's victory over the state during the 2020 presidential election, making Arizona the next state behind Michigan and Georgia to take action against the potential election fraud. We are doing a thorough and professional investigation, um, and we're going to do it on our timetable as justice uh, demands. Eleven alternate electors signed documents confirming to be the state's authorized electors. The announcement comes days after Georgia filed its indictment charging former President Donald Trump and 18 others for racketeering and conspiracy. UCLA law professor and director of its Safeguarding Democracy project, Rick Hasen, says the evidence will play a huge role in whether states like Wisconsin pursue criminal charges. Every state has their own set of rules in terms of how elections are run. Every state also has a different factual context. The call with the Secretary of State in Georgia was recorded, and so there's very good evidence there. There may not be the same kind of evidence in Wisconsin or in another state. Hayson went on to say that Trump's eligibility will be the biggest question to be resolved before the election takes place next year. Well, so one question uh, is whether or not the 14th Amendment would uh, require state officials to keep Donald Trump off the ballot. Uh, so he couldn't even be listed as a candidate on the ballot. So those determinations will have to be made before voting, even potentially before voting in a presidential primary. So we could get some early indications over the next, say, six months as we move closer to the beginning of the presidential primary season. Attorney General Mays confirmed her office is taking a serious approach to their investigation, but provided no context to its timeline or status. The Fulton County indictment could prove to be helpful to Arizona's investigators as it details how the election scheme came together in the state. Former President Trump has pleaded not guilty to both federal and state charges against him.